Okay, I'm helping clarify um, how it is that AC circuits um, show up in EC205, which is a DC class. And so I, so my cat is trying to destroy my bedroom here. Um, and I am assuming that you do know how to draw sine wave with offset, phase, and amplitude. So let's start with amplitude. 10 volts peak means also 20 vo volts peak to peak. So you can either see 20 VPP or 10 VP. These are the same thing. Pi over two phase means that the um, Y axis is moved up by um, pi over two. And minus five offset means the signal is shifted down, shifted by minus five, which means five volts down. And 50 hertz sine wave means the period will be 20 milliseconds. So I do expect you to remember that the period is one over frequency and that one over 50 is 20. So I'm gonna first draw this and the question is, what is what is V out? In this case, I'm expecting you to draw V out. So for now, I'm gonna draw V in. This is gonna be V in. And here, I'm gonna draw V out. Now look, V out, or this, this circuit here, is a comparator. So V out is always either going to be plus 10 or minus 10. Here plus 10 and here minus 10. But V in is a sine wave. And the period is going to be 20. So I'm going to write here 20, 40, 60, 80 milliseconds. So it's, it, this is time in milliseconds. And now a sine wave would do this, except that I'm starting already with this at pi over two. So really it's gonna be like a cosine. It's gonna be this. And the second exception is that it's not around zero. It's around minus five. So this is gonna be shifted down to minus five volts. So really it's this wave here but down here. And because it's 10 volts peak, I want to go from minus 5 to 5. That's a bad 10 drawing. So I'm going to erase that. Do I have an eraser here? I do. So this will be the first period and this is 5, and this is 10. So that sine wave would have been like this. But because it's shifted by pi over 2, there's a pi over 2 phase, it starts as a cosine here. And it would have gone to minus 10. But instead, it's going to go to minus 15. So what happens is that it starts at 5, Minus five is the new zero. So the offset of minus five volts makes this waveform here be centered around zero. I mean, around minus five, sorry. So this is my waveform. And now let's do the circuit finally. Also, if I had asked you, what is V in at 20 milliseconds? You'd have said five volts. What is V in at 10 milliseconds? 
it's minus 15 volts. So you could evaluate this for just one time or one um, uh, set point in time. But I'm asking you to actually draw the output. So now let's do that. The plus is at zero. So what the comparator does is that it compares this input here with the plus. So when the input is larger than zero, which is the negative input here, V in is larger than zero, the output of the comparator is minus VCC, which is in this case minus 10. When the positive, when the negative input is smaller than zero, it goes to plus VCC, which is in this case plus 10. So I will draw here the times that the input intersects the zero. And here, the negative input is larger. I'm going to do minus VCC. And here, it's going to do plus VCC. And then here, again, minus VCC with plus VCC. The minus VCC side should have been smaller. Great. So this is the output. that I'm expecting. I hope this is clear, but if it's not, please comment and ask me more questions about how to do these problems. 